What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mars Man here, and it's time to go back in time and play Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Oh man, I'm hyped. I got my lightsaber here. I got my controller ready to roll. All I need is just be on Coruscant and it's game over, baby. What? What the hell? I never imagined there would be such a dog shit release on the levels of stank that would mirror games like Redfall, Battlefield 4, Halo MCC. I, I'm just honestly shocked. From the excitement we all had that we would be getting to jump back into some classic gameplay to be in utter disgust at the state of this game is in, Asper, you know, you fucked it up. As a lifelong dweeb of the Star Wars franchise, I feel as if it's my duty to absolutely blast this game for what it did wrong and to figure out a way that it could possibly save itself. To be honest, leading up to its official release, I had mixed feelings about whether it would be a good or a trashy game. I fully believe that this would have been one of those dumb purchases that I made just to have the chance to go back into the old days and playing split screen co-op with my brother, fighting on separate armies. It would have been just a great time. With all the information that dropped before this game was released, it got me excited. 64 player lobbies, all classic maps from both games included. I mean, this is all great stuff. But the product we get is literally the most broken game I've ever seen. It's been officially 10 year anniversary since Halo MCC had released and it seems like game devs have not learned anything. I mean, Mars, it can't be that bad. No, no, it's it's bad. Just finding a way to load into the server is a chore. Asper has started by only allowing for three servers for the 64 player lobbies. And let's just say we use the numbers for the initial Steam charts, which was roughly 9,000. Oh, let, let me let me get my calculator. So 9,000, three servers, and uh, it doesn't make sense. A game that releases with barely any sort of server to play on isn't going to work because I don't know about you, but in order for you to make money, people need to buy your game and actually play it. Crazy idea, right? So then let's just look past the server number and when you get into a match, most likely you're going to be playing in a lobby that looks possessed by the ghost of Cyberpunk 2077. Players are teleporting, crashes are constant, and most times when you look at the ground, it looks like you're playing on the Sega Genesis. I mean, when the title says it was a classic edition, I didn't think it meant that we were playing on the Game Boy Pocket. It's it's just unforgivable. Okay, okay, let's let's calm down. All right, let's take a breather. So let's just say that you get into a game and there are no bugs or glitches. Okay, all right, great start. You start a Galactic Conquest game and it, you're starting to feel good playing the old games again. But then the game ends in three minutes. Wait, what? What, what the hell just happened? Well, because the geniuses over at Asper set the stock of lives of a 64 player game to only be 100. So it basically means if each player on your team dies at least three times, then the game would basically be over. I never imagined that devs could be this bad at math. Like imagine you finally get the choice to be Han Solo or Vader and the game just ends out of nowhere. I mean, I want more. It's frustrating how something so simple like taking a classic game and finding a way to screw it up so hard is just unbelievable. And to top it all off, this garbage, this this scam is worth $35. If I paid five more dollars, I'd just buy Helldivers 2, which I already did. If you pay the same price, then you can just get Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. Hell, any indie game we played on this channel would be worth every penny compared to this garbage. If you want to do yourself a favor, do not buy this product. If you want to go play a Star Wars game, I'd rather go play Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2017 because at least it's a full product that is fun and doesn't break the game constantly. Even greedy EA has the ability to put a full game together and, and that's just bad. I was excited for this game and even made a preview of this in a recent video. And this is the crap they give us? General Greed has infested this product like the flood and it's just sad seeing what this game could have possibly have been. The only way that I'd ever play this game is if they fix the servers and actually stop these bugs from ruining my entire experience. I'm a massive Star Wars dweeb, but this made me want to go kill younglings. Not even the younglings survived. How is it possible that as a fan of Star Wars that I really have a lot of games in the shooter genre that I can go and play and just feel happy. You know what's crazy? When EA first gave us that announcement that Star Wars Battlefront was gonna get its re-release in the gaming space, everyone was excited and we all know how that went. And then finally they dropped Star Wars Battlefront 2 and at first it was complete garbage. But eventually they added the updates, they added the heroes and it became a pretty solid experience. But how is it possible that we can't get anybody to make a shooter Star Wars game 
that really brings us the nostalgia of the past. This was the experience that we were really hoping would be a fun one where we can just go back into the classic games, classic eras, and just enjoy it with our friends. I was excited because I used to always just be able to play this in a split screen on the original Xbox, but I thought, hey, getting a multiplayer Star Wars game would have been a fantastic addition. The last time I played a Star Wars Battlefront game that was the classic era type of feel was on the PSP and it was multiplayer based, which I was ecstatic about. But then we started getting these new Star Wars games that just didn't hit. So you can understand my frustration as a Star Wars fan that this is the crap we get for waiting so long for a kind of an updated version of the classic games. I mean, I don't know what the hell Asper's gonna do from here on out, but you need to do something to fix this, this debacle that you have. We need to have some sort of a feel where we actually can enjoy this game and be able to play with others without having to crap yourself with all the bugs. Like Darth Vader was flying. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was possible to see another character from Star Wars like Leia fly throughout space, but yeah, yeah you, you pulled it off, guys. Good for you. Asper, you have officially joined the list of greedy devs that clearly don't know your audience. Be better. But how do you feel about the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection? Did you puke in your mouth like I did? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.